Hello everyone, my name is Cassie and I'm here today to share with you guys one of my more weird paranormal experiences. Now I've had every paranormal experience in the book. Literally everything. Things that I believe to be angels, miracles, to demons and dark creatures. Everything in the book. I'm telling you I've experienced it. Now here's one of the more weird ones. And it's not going to seem that weird to someone who's looking at it from an outside perspective, but just put yourself in my shoes here, okay? <laughs> just go with me, go, come along on this journey with me, please. All right, let's just jump into it. So my dad fell down about two years ago and was uh, in a coma. And afterwards, when he came out of the coma and started recovering from a brain injury, uh, he had to go back to work afterwards. And because he couldn't drive because of all the medications he was on, I was having to tour tour like this is like a thing <laughs> we have to tour <laughs> i went on tour guys no we had to drive around to all of the different hospitals that he works at and has to sell machines to so i was basically uh, his partner along the way and i got to sit in all the lobbies and knock out schoolwork and and get everything done it was really a, an amazing bonding experience for my dad and i Ooh, things are creaking already and i don't like it <laughs> okay Whew. Anyway, so that's just the backstory, okay? We were traveling around to all the different offices. Now, I completely spaced this because when traumatic events happen to me in my life and weird things happen, I tend to just get rid of them <laughs> so I don't have to deal with them. And then when they get brought up into light again, I'm like, oh my gosh, I can't believe I ever forgot this. Why did I bring this back into my head? <laughs> Can this go away again? Okay, anyway, let's get on with the story. So we were at one of these hospitals and he goes to set up the machines early. So it's about five o'clock in the morning, which is before any patients really come in at all. Maybe one, maybe one. I wasn't even really paying attention to what was going on around me because I was dabbling away on my computer at schoolwork, just kind of sitting in the lobby doing schoolwork. So I didn't really notice things going on around me, which is very weird for me because I'm always constantly aware of my surroundings. But I guess I was just so focused that I didn't see this person 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 so there's literally no one in this entire place okay not even like the receptionists are there or whatever you call those people not even those people are there okay and i'm sitting there and i look up and i see a man across from me and he looks horrible to say the least like horrible horrible like his whole family just died and he's been not sleeping and he's been crying his eyes out and he hasn't showered in like 30 days that is what this man looked like and oh my gosh <laughs> this is freaking me out so bad now okay Whew. i've never told anyone this story and i briefly mentioned it to my dad and he kind of just shrugged it off i was like uh, anyway <laughs> it's freaking me out so bad okay Whew. So I look up and I see this man and he is, he just looks horrible. Okay. He just looks horrible. And I notice that he is staring directly at me. Now I have this thing where if someone's staring directly at me, I will make consistent eye contact with them because it's so annoying to me when someone, when you're, when someone's making eye contact with you and then you look up and notice they're making eye contact, they are so quick to be like, Oh, I wasn't looking at you. It's like, no, make eye contact with me and face me. You're staring at me. So let's make this connection. Like, why are you doing this? So the first thing I did was stare him in the eyes because that's what I do. And I smiled kind of like a, I'm sorry, whatever you're going through smile and just smile lightly. And I just got this. That's <laughs> so creepy. <laughs> so naturally, when someone gives you the death stare and looks like they want to murder you, I look away and pretend it's not happening, which is very unusual for me because I'm very quick to address these things. I look away and pretend it's not happening. Well, five minutes later, I look up and this man is still staring at me. And finally, I just kind of like set my computer aside and just kind of like laid back in the chair. and was just kind of sitting there not staring directly at him but just being aware that okay this this dude is like serious like i don't know what to do about this and i'm not going to sit on my computer and be distracted so i just kind of laid back and, and 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 chilled for a second and just looked generally around him and out of the corner of my eye i could always see that this guy was making that consistent death stare with me regardless and he was not moving a muscle and was just staring directly in my eyes the entire time so unlike a normal person who would get up and get out of a situation like that, I 
didn't. <laughs> I just sat there and would make eye contact with him and stare at him. And it got to the point where I was kind of like questioning him with my face. Like, what are you, what are you doing? Why are you staring at me? And he would just, that consistent death stare, just consistently stare at me. And 20 minutes go by and I'm finally like, okay, you know what? I got to get up and pee. And as soon as I get up to go pee, he stands straight up out of his chair and starts walking backwards, staring me in the eyes. And I, <laughs> I didn't know what to do. I just like, I just stood there. I just stood there. I wasn't moving and I just watched him and he followed me. He followed me with his eyes all the way backwards all the way consistently staring at me and then went around the corner so being the normal person that i am <laughs> that's where the bathrooms were so i wanted to follow him and see what was up so i literally like darted around the corner and this corner is it's like one of those hallways where it's glass and there's no ways to go you have to cross this glass almost bridge to get to where there's places to go if you went around that corner it would take you a good like two minutes to get over the bridge i don't know why it's, it's, it's like that and oh i turn the corner and and he's he's gone like he just he vanished and there is no absolute no possible way he could have gone anywhere once you go around that corner you it's yeah it's you <laughs> he he vanished being the not normal person that i am i didn't say oh wow that's really scary that scares the heck out of me i went oh well that makes sense <laughs> oh. <laughs> i felt almost uncomfortable but at peace it was a very 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 weird situation and i hope i never have to encounter a weird paranormal situation like that again scary okay happy okay weird no it just it's not it's not okay all right i know this was kind of a short video kind of a short story time but i thought i would update you guys as these thoughts reoccur in my head of past things that i've blurred out of my existence i thought i would just let you guys know and uh, update you with these kind of paranormal vlogs all right guys thank you so much for watching I have an amazing Toy Time Tuesday video plan. It's gonna be a DIY kind of craft. It's something that's really popular right now. I think it's gonna turn out amazing. I think you guys are really gonna like it. So please stay subscribed so you know when I'm posting and what I'm posting and, and where I'm posting and, 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 and I can't think of anything else to say. Okay, okay, I love you guys. Okay, bye.